Hey everyone! So our video about lunging your horse without a round pen did so good that we thought we'd actually do a video about lunging your horse in the round pen. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And before we get started, why don't you share what's the weirdest thing your horse does? So Tucker here does something really weird where he gets bugs in his nose and he'll freak out about it. And so I can tell he has a bug in his nose because he'll look at me and he'll go like this. And then I know from there he's going to probably melt down. So just something really weird and funny that he does, but comment below, I'd love to know what your horse does. So why would you use a round pen to lunge a horse? So using a round pen allows you to work your horse in a smaller space and you don't need a rope or a lunge line or anything like that. So when you work in a round pen without the constraints of a rope or a lunge line, it gives you the great opportunity to start communicating with your horse based off of body language. And that's a lot about what lunging your horse in a round pen is all about. So we're going to cover that today and hopefully help you guys with lunging your horse in the round pen. So the first thing we're going to cover is how to get your horse on the rail from the middle of the round pen. So you may be having trouble with this, like your horse doesn't want to go out or the horse keeps turning back or it just seems like the horse doesn't know what to do. So I want to cover real quick how you can get your horse out on the rail and communicate effectively to them about this. So the first thing to remember when it comes to moving your horse out to the rail is that you should be moving the horse, the horse shouldn't be moving you. So sometimes I've seen people where their horse starts moving and they're trying to move around the horse and the horse is getting confused and so they don't know what to do. So it's important to remember that you're in charge here, you're telling the horse where to go. So I don't want the horse to move me from my spot. Now I may move out of my spot towards my horse to get the horse to move out in a way, but I'm not going to let the horse move me from right here. All right, now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to move your horse out to the rail and then to just, you know, kind of get away from you. Good boy. So what you guys may have noticed there is that I moved towards him and he stepped away from me to go out on the rail. So working in the round pen is also great for teaching your horse to respect your personal space and learn where your personal boundaries are. So now I'm asserting myself and asking him to step away and that's going to encourage him out on the rail. Good boy. So just a little disclaimer, Tucker has done this a lot, so he's going to be a lot more sensitive compared to a horse that's maybe young or that you just got and started working with. We actually have a video that helps teach horses groundwork on respect, and that would be a great place to start before you work in the round pen, so we'll put the link in the description. So if you haven't lunged a horse in the round pen a lot, it's important to remember that you're telling the horse to move with your body language rather than moving away from the horse so then they're away from you. Because when you do that and you're trying to get him to go, look, he just starts coming to me and he's not going to go out on the rail. <laughs> so it's important to remember to be assertive and be really intentional about being the alpha leader here. So the next thing we're going to cover is how to keep your horse out and on the rail as you lunge them. So when you lunge your horse in the round pen, you may notice that there's some areas of the pen where the horse likes to cut in or they may drop their shoulder and kind of come closer to you rather than staying out. So what you're going to do is you can use your body language once again to push the horse back out to the rail. So I can take a few steps towards my horse to help close that gap and communicate to them that they need to move away and get back on the rail. Another thing I can do is also use my lunge whip and just point it at them so I can close that space in between us and that's going to tell them to move away and back to the rail. Boy. Another important thing to remember is if your horse is cutting in in the round pen, they may also be trying to test you a little bit and see what they can get away with. So it's important that you can correct them quickly just so, you know, save yourself from trouble in the future and also communicate to your horse once again that you're the leader here. So the next thing we're going to talk about is how to get your horse to actually go around the round pen as you lunge them. So in order to properly drive your horse forward, you want to be in the drive line. So the drive line on a horse is from their withers to the rump or the dock of their tail. And so no matter where I'm standing, whether I'm like 10 feet away or I'm right up next to my horse, I can drive them forward if I stay within these parameters of the withers to the dock of the tail. So that means if I step out of these parameters, that's going to confuse the horse. So if I step in front of the shoulder, 
that's probably going to tell the horse to stop and the horse will stop or turn and change your direction. So since we're all about using our body language today, another way you can encourage your horse forward or encourage them to slow down is by communicating with your body. So if I want my horse to go forward, I can use big movements and walk faster <laughs> to encourage them to move faster. And if I want them to slow down or stop, I can stop or slow my movements. So our next point is how to get your horse to stop on the rail as you lunge them in the round pen. So what you're gonna do, how we talked about the drive line earlier, so this is an instance where you're going to want to step in front of the drive line or in front of the shoulder to tell the horse to stop. So if you can see where I'm positioned myself here, compared to him, I'm standing in front of his shoulder. So many horses in the beginning may not understand stopping or just halting on the rail. So what you can do to encourage them is a lot of them will want to still move forward. You can just let them move forward and go around a few times so that they can get tired. And then when you ask them again, they're going to be more willing to stop and halt on the rail. So you're just kind of explaining it to them in that way and in that fashion so they start to understand what you're expecting from them. Some horses can get really hot in the round pen when you're lunging them. And so instead of halting and standing here like he is, they may just want to whirl around and change direction. So this is a great exercise to do with horses when it comes to just teaching them to like be calm when you're lunging them and also to, just to stand on the fence. So if you do have a horse that tends to want to run off when you ask them to halt, another thing you can do is use your body language to put them on the fence and just keep them there. So I can block him this way. If he turns that way, I'll go that way and block him. Just to the point where all he can do is stand on the fence. Even if he's facing the fence, that's going to help him learn what I want. Good boy. Good boy. So I usually find when I go to lunge a horse in the round pen, it's pretty easy for them to pick up everything. What I've figured out is when it comes to teaching them to halt, that's a little bit more difficult for them to understand because it's not really a natural thing for them to do when they're in the space that they can run around. It's weird to them to just stand there. So it's something that you have to be really consistent about and you have to teach them yourself what you're expecting from them. So now we're going to talk about how to get your horse to change direction in the round pen as you lunge them. There's a big argument in the horse world about whether the horse should turn towards the fence to change direction or whether they should turn in to change direction. And growing up I was told both ways and I would hear that one person preferred having the horse turn to the fence because if they turn to the middle you get run over and I heard someone say well the horse should turn into the middle because if they turn to the fence you should get kicked. So what I decided to do is I taught my horse how to change direction both ways. In this way, they can do it either way. And it's really based off of my body language, which way they turn. So this is a great exercise you can do to start communicating with your horse and have them echoing what you're communicating to them. In the beginning, it may seem confusing how you ask your horse to change direction. So I'm going to go over it today. And what I'm going to do is just show you guys from the beginning what you should do. So if you're new to this, I'm going to recommend asking your horse to come to a stop and then asking them to change direction. And that way it's more broken up and you can focus on one section at a time rather than just doing it really quickly. So once I can get my horse to stop on the rail, uh, the first way I'm going to teach them to change direction is by turning towards the fence. So what you're going to see me do here is first I'm going to ask the horse to stop by stepping in front of their shoulder or in front of the drive line. Once the horse has come to a stop, all I'm going to do is start walking towards the horse's head. And this is going to ask the horse to move its shoulders away from me and turn towards the fence. You always want to be cautious when doing this. I don't want to get too close to the horse so that they could whirl around and kick me. Uh, but I do want them to respond correctly by moving their shoulders away. So the next way I teach my horse to change direction in the round pen is by turning in and then going the other way. So the way I'm going to do this is number one, I'm first going to ask the horse to stop. And then what I'm going to do is once they're looking at me, I'm going to take a step back and invite them in towards the middle. And once they step in towards me, then I'll ask them to go the other way by body language and by the position of my hands. So in the beginning, your horse may have a difficult time understanding to come in and turn. So something you can do is step a little bit more ahead of them, like going towards the rail. So you can walk and kind of use your body language to communicate to them to step away from the rail and turn in. So our next point is how to ask your horse to come into the middle of the round pen when you're lunging. 
So for those of you who are interested in Liberty training, this is a great place to start to teach your horse to draw towards you or to want to come in towards you. And so I'm going to show you guys how you can train your horse to come into the middle off the rail and come over to you. So if you've taught your horse to halt and also change direction by turning in towards the middle, then it's going to be super easy to teach your horse to come into the middle to you. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my horse to stop and then I'm going to ask them to come in towards me just like I did when I asked them to change direction. So I'm going to have them look at me and then take a step back and when I do that and they step towards me, I'm going to stop and reward them. So maybe your horse will only take a few steps towards you and then they'll just stop and they won't come all the way to where you are. So one thing you can do is once they stop you can kind of step towards their hind end and this is going to encourage them to swing their hind end around and move their front feet to look at you. And so that's one way to just encourage them to move their feet and stay focused on you. And another thing is to just practice this a lot uh, consistently and your horse will learn that they need to come into you when you ask them to. So if you don't have a round pen, the good news is you can always lunge your horse using a lead rope or a lunge line. And we have a complete video about how to do that, so we'll put the link in the description. If you got anything helpful out of this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.